wet eye, developed to increase the lethal payload and improve the dissemination of chemical agents, will be highly effective against personnel in open terrain, armored vehicles, field fortifications, underground shelters, and ships. Keystone of wet eye's uniqueness is that it is formed from the largest extruded aluminum shell ever produced. This tubular shell, with a wall thickness of only an eighth of an inch, is almost seven feet long, with a diameter of 14 inches. The tube is shaped and formed into an ogival nose and boat tail configuration. The advanced techniques in metal forming, which accomplished this, eliminated all longitudinal welds. Thus, leak integrity, compared to other bomb designs, was greatly improved. In addition, the empty bomb weight was vastly reduced. Placement of the strong back on the exterior of wet eye eliminated all exterior welds in the strong back area and provided additional agent volume within the chemical chamber. Wet eye is designed with folding tail fins for compatibility with the MBR. Total fin span when open is 34.9 inches. This feature permits six wet eyes to be mounted on a single MBR. Wet eyes filler plug is designed for automatic, remote, agent loading systems. It incorporates two soft aluminum balls, which are placed into the tapered filler closure port, then seated tightly under high pressure. This provides a leak-proof system which has not failed in over 100,000 leakage tests. Wet Eye's metallic nose cone provides covering for the M990 electric fuse as well as protection against high frequency radiation. Interim air burst requirements for this weapon will use the M913 electric proximity fusing system. Four 17 and one half inch long linear shaped charred sections housed in the burster tube assist in dispersing and aerosolizing the liquid agent. The use of linear shaped charges in chemical weapons is a new and highly successful concept for obtaining greater area coverage with more uniform concentration levels. Eight linear jets are produced by these charges. Another unique feature of wet eye is the stabilized center of gravity. This is achieved by a void control system which reduces the liquid shift caused by attitude changes. Wet eye is loaded in a vertical position with the forward compartment completely full, the rear chamber, separated from the front by a ceiling bulkhead, is left with a 10% void. This void remains in the rear compartment regardless of bomb attitude because a void control orifice is always below the level of the liquid. But during temperature expansion and contraction, the orifice permits the liquid to flow freely from one compartment to the other. The application of this principle results in increased free-fall aerodynamic stability for the weapon. Comparing weight factors and volume capacity of chemical bombs, wet eyes empty weight is 177 pounds. Agent payload, 368 pounds. Total weight, 545 pounds. The Air Force MC-1, empty bomb weight, 490 pounds. Agent payload, 220 pounds. Total weight, 710 pounds. The Navy Mark 94, empty bomb weight, 333 pounds. Agent payload, 108 pounds. Total weight, 441 pounds. This ratio of payload weight to bomb weight points up that wet eye carries 69% of its total weight in payload, while the MC-1 carries 30% and the Mark 94, 24%. Wet Eye's unique engineering concepts, one-piece tubular construction, folding fins, 
void control system, high volume capacity, and linear shape charge for agent dissemination. Result in a weapon which greatly increases the Navy's capability for chemical air attacks.